So we're looking at about five days where we have a chance of some rain. Going into our Friday, though, starting out in the now, we're going to be seeing those clouds increase. Then by about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock on Friday, we'll start to see some scattered showers, though many of these will see that precipitation dry up before it reaches the ground. So likely going to be just mainly cloudy going into this afternoon. It's not until the late afternoon, closer towards sunset, when we start to see those showers become numerous and reach the ground. Even some embedded thunderstorms are possible. Non-severe thunderstorms, but still could drop uh, a lot of rain pretty quickly with some of those downpours. That lasts into the overnight hours. Then tomorrow, northwest Wisconsin looks to be the area most favorable for some embedded thunderstorms. Steadier rain once again to Duluth and points west. And then we'll see that calm down as we go into the afternoon, a bit of a lull into Saturday evening and overnight into Sunday morning. But then by Sunday midday, starting to see steady rain arrive once again. That lasts into Monday, light to moderate rain still going on with some pretty strong winds on Sunday during the day. They calm down by Monday, but we're still looking at gusts up to 35 miles per hour during the day and into Sunday evening. By Tuesday, we'll see that chance of showers arrive. So, like I said, five straight days of a chance of rain. Dropping about one to two inches of rain region-wide. Could even see some locally higher amounts. This is a long-duration forecast. So we're looking at some good uh, drought-alleviating amounts of precipitation here. Fortunately, it comes on a weekend. Today, temperature going to be 50 degrees here in Duluth. 55 up in Hibbing, 55 down in Hinkley. We'll see those p.m. showers and thunderstorms. 61 in Ashland and 55 down in Spooner. Overnight tonight, only getting down to the 40s with those thunderstorms and rain continuing throughout the night. Here's a look now at the seven-day forecast. And like I said, five straight days of rain possible. Then we finally dry on out on Wednesday and Thursday. I'm